Hey, what's up, people? It's Astroplanes here, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 modded. Alright, so. I've got some mods prepared. Well, most of them you've already at least seen a glimpse of. Like the Frost, instead of being Frieza. Eh, gotta get the item. Alright, let's see. What is it? Oh, geez, it's just an OR capsule. Piccolo, I don't need your training. I already have learned everything from you on my other Aster. I think I might do a season 2 of this. Like, whenever this is finished. I think I'll do an even more modded season 2. Now, this still isn't over, so I still might heavily mod this. But, if you guys want me to do like a season 2 of doing the character other than Aster, then just tell me. Of course, this still isn't finished yet. So, let's finish this series first, and then I'll ask you guys. What was that? What was that look on my face? I just had that very scrunched up eyes, and I was like, "Eh." Yeah, that was weird. Hmm. Okay, I'm heading back to Mira's location. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea, Trunce? You don't even have your partner with you right now, do you? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have your partner. I'm pretty sure, anyways. Good. He's just not with you, you as of right now. Yeah, let me do this, Trunks. You should go find Gohan and the others. The fight with Frieza is happening as we speak. Frost. The sky is Excuse you, Supreme Time Time. Justice had been done in the past. Oh wait, you well, don't know then, about the change yet. That much longer. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, you guys can't really tell the difference cuz you don't really care about Frieza's race. Um okay. Phew. For a second there I thought the mod wasn't going to work. I was about to say that they were that, that was a little racist that you, that they couldn't tell the difference. But I guess that was a little change in history. Well, that any slightly... Oh, Frost is slightly shorter than Frieza. This isn't the in-game model, this is actually a mod that I had to dig around and find because I couldn't get to the original files. Um... Yeah, girl, and just because it's big doesn't mean it's strong. Like, for example, oh, you're stronger than Yamcha. I guess that's a good example. I made you a promise, remember? I said I'd make you wish for death. Okay, I guess it's time to go Super Saiyan Blue. I don't really. Oh, well. Okay. Do you really confident, Vegeta? I wonder. Can I damage him anymore? No, I can't. Smile while you still can, okay, well. For I, am the super I just gotta wait for Vegeta to die then. <laughs> you make the worst jokes. He, he really does. I've already ascended past and he thinks that he's a super soul. <laughs> I love how he's just like floating through the air. When I use a bit of my full speed, you can't keep up. You call yourself well, a I could, Saiyan. I just don't care right now, because I need Impossible. you to kill Vegeta, please. Thank super you. Saiyans. 
Thank you, Frieza. I mean, Frost. I mean, Frieza. What's supposed to be Frieza, but time messed up, and for some reason, Frost is here now. That would be a better what if scenario. Frost looks surprisingly good for these cutscenes. I mean, I, I mean, he kind of is just a slight retexture of Frieza. Eh, I don't think I need to go die against you. If, if it took you that. It's a bit too soon, but I guess I'll finish you all. Gone. There we go. <laughs> Don't expect the grand slam now, do you? Um. Oh, it's supposed to grow into Tetsu. Oh, I see Goku's here as soon as I grand slam Frieza. I mean Frieza. Sorry, I'm late. I'll take care of the rest. Listen. Come on. The home of the Saiyans. Planet Vegeta. Please. No. Don't spam the rocks. Please don't. Don't spam. Not dead yet. Not a guy. What a stubborn guy. I'm stuck. Kind of, yeah. Frieza, you you known Vegeta ever since he was a little. And start fighting seriously. You should know that he is stubborn. I'm a Saiyan, raised on Earth. Why do I ever and think that's going to work when I, whenever I'm in the downtown mode? Alright. Alright, it. Wait a second. There we go, now it's going to work. Are you ready for... Can I ask you to do something? Are you serious, like cutscene or whatever? I can't damage him until Goku work. starts There's charging up his spear bomb. Goku, you haven't even been touched yet. That's how much I've been beating up Frieza for you. I can see that you ripped your shirt off again. That and you rubbed yourself in a pile of rots, so then you would look damaged. Well, I'm literally making <laughs> Frost bleed. He's bleeding purple all over the place. Grand Slam! I'm just gonna shoot you off. And there we go. Now it works with the cutscene. Cause I like shot him off into the water. The tree is still there. Wow, that spirit bomb looks really good. Like, I, until now, have not noticed how beautiful that, that spear bomb looks. A lot better than the one in Xenoverse 1. That's the one that I was remembering. Okay, I guess, um, I... Uh, there we go, next. Alright, guys, so... I'll cut the video short here. Now, I know that it's only 10 minutes long, but I have actually recorded, like, the rest of the Frieza saga. I've, and it's about 30 minutes at maximum cutage without excluding any in-game content. So, pretty much, 
I know that you guys won't want to watch it, or most of you guys will not watch it if it's over 30 minutes. I know this as experience from the Ginyu Force episode, which didn't get as many views as I'd wanted it to, but that's perfectly fine. All I have to do is cut this into two episodes, so that's exactly what I'm doing. And I felt that bombing Frost was a uh, good, was a good part to end that. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, ah. not the right one that I wanted to do. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys in the next Dragon Ball Xenos 2 go. video. Bye bye. Fun time, bingo. Of course. Bye bye. When I was stressed out, wish we could turn back.